Okay, hey you guys. I am going to unbox this Arteza Christmas box that they sent. I've seen they sent it to a couple of people. Mine took a while to get to me. Um, and then hopefully I'll be able to make a little something something. But I wanted to unbox it and show you guys what is there. So maybe I'll come around on the other side so that you guys can... Whoop. Almost lost it there. Um, I'm going to come around on the other side so that you guys can see what the things are. So I'll get them out of here. Okay, so this is the Arteza Premium Watercolor Booklet. Oh, that's gonna be fun. Small little sheets, but those would be great for like little cards um, to tear out of there. I'll have to see, hold on, let me rip it open and see. So it looks like it comes with 88 sheets in here. Um, and it looks like you'll have to cut them out yeah, but this is super cool. So I've got three packs of that. This is holographic glitter. So this is probably going to go in my resin pieces that I do, but those are gorgeous. Let me see. It's got fairy dust and moonstone. Can you guys see the glitter on those? These are chunky. So that's going to be cool. I have got these Everblend art markers. There we go, Everblend. I've got two different colors of that, Sky Blue and Fuchsia, and I'm sure they have other colors on their website. And I'll link the Arteza link below with my 10% off um, you know, affiliate link so that you guys can go and take a look for yourselves. These are water-based inks blendable. Ooh, so that's I bet that's gonna be really cool. I may play around with that on the watercolor paper. So I've got, let me see here, fresh green and tomato red on those. My light's in the way. And I think people got the similar colors, similar things. So this is light apricot, Arteza, and I use a lot of Arteza colors, and cobalt blue. This one I don't use a lot. I'm definitely going to try painting with that. I feel like some bronze and maybe some aqua would go really well with that color and some gold so i got those what and i got the watercolors to go along with it how freaking cool is that maybe i'll play around with the watercolor and ink combined and then it comes in this little tin let me open that up Oh my goodness, I am so excited. Here, let me show you actually, on my Instagram, I showed my first watercolor painting that I ever did when I was a teenager, and I actually found it when I was going through all my art supplies. Yep, there it is. It's all torn up on the edges, and but I still have it, and I love it. All right, so there's that. But this little tin has all the watercolors, and then in this side, you put the water and then this becomes like a little brush for you as well so that you can wet it and brush along. So that's really cool. This is the last thing that was in the box. So it is a scratch paper pad. I remember playing with these as kids. This was so cool. And then it actually comes with a little scratch card here. I believe that's a scratch card as well, like a little postcard. So that's really awesome. And then it comes with these little scratch pens. You can like rough up surfaces. It's like a nail file. So let me get set up and figure out what I want to do. I'll be right back. Okay, so we're just going to play around for a second. So this pen, I filled the bottom with water. And then let me see if I can, let me see if I can focus you. So you just squeeze and the water comes out. Okay, so I'm just going to 
Get a little bit of black on my surface. I'm gonna go dry to start because I'm just gonna make like a horizon line. Okay. Now I'm gonna add a little bit of water to it. Wash that off. Get a little bit of my blue. Come on in here with a little bit of the blue. Get a little bit of a gradient going. The one thing I will say is there is no white in this. Let me squeeze a little bit of water in there. There is no white. I love this pen, y'all. This pen is amazing. Yeah, there's no white in the uh, in the tin. So then you can go back through. I think I want a little bit darker because I don't want that black to show. So when you want darker on watercolor, you just go with less water. It makes it more opaque, less transparent. Okay, there we go. And if I want to do that, I can squeeze a little bit of water. And then I can brush the rest of that line down there. I haven't played with watercolors in so long. You can keep going over that. And then the more little striations that you have in there. Squeeze a little bit of water. more that you can kind of create your depth. All right, now we'll go, maybe I should do like a sunset for the sky. So where would my sun be? I wanna get that blue off of there. We'll just do maybe no actual sun, but maybe just some, some colors right along in here. Don't worry because as soon as you squeeze this, that water, then you can mix it all together. You guys can let me know, have you played around with watercolors? I love playing around with all art materials, honestly. Get a little bit more of that yellow in there. Maybe the sun, maybe it would have been down here somewhere. Oh, got a little bit of blue in there. I'm just playing around. So again, that first layer, if you don't put down water on the watercolor first, that first layer is gonna be very opaque. It's gonna kind of stick there, it's gonna be kind of hard to blend. Get a little more over here. Skies aren't normally this red, huh? I'm gonna put a little bit of purple, I think. So I didn't have any white, so I'm improvising to make the sun out of the negative space there. Super cool. Now I'll go up a little bit. Should probably go darker down closer to the to this line down here. Let me squeeze a little bit of water out there. Whoop! My surface isn't level, huh? There's that purple. That bluish purple gave a really pretty tone. Now I'm just gonna have just a couple of little lines. Ooh, this is a pretty magenta color. I do have some of those lines in here. I don't like this green. The great thing about watercolor is you wipe that off 
You can put another color down over there. I really like this magenta color. Squeeze a little bit of water and then you can drag that on through. I could play around with this for hours, but no need. So then I'm gonna come back down. Maybe I'll add a little bit of this brownish red color. Again, you can just wet your watercolors and then take it, uh, take a paper cloth and wipe it on down. So maybe I'll add a little bit of a, of a, Thing here, out in the, in the sunset. Just playing around. Now, the cool thing about watercolors, actually I really like that color I made. So I'm just gonna put a little bit of, a little dab of water from the brush right here. And then you can Brush that on down. Maybe I'll get a little bit more on the... Oh, my shadows probably shouldn't have been that large for... Right? This green part's bothering me right here. There we go. Yeah. Super cool. And then you can come back in with your black line again. Maybe make these a little bit more pronounced. Maybe they're off in the distance. Who knows? You can always fade these back in. This isn't going to be a full tutorial, so I'm going to be done in a second, but just wanted to play around with this one. Fade that back in a little bit just to give the appearance of it. There are so many things that you can do with watercolor. I haven't played with them in so long. But there you go. There's just a little impressionistic uh, landscape for you, or seascape, I guess. Um, kind of similar. I was kind of going for the one that I had done over here, but wanted to do it in the colors that I had. All right, let me get the um, other pad out and I will scrape a little bit on that one. Okay, so first off, I'm just gonna scrape and write my name. Let's see what colors are under there. Happy painting. No, I'm not done, guys. Don't leave. <laughs> All right, now I'm going to zoom in a little bit. Hopefully you guys can see that. And maybe I'll just tilt it this way so I can actually draw. And I'm just going to maybe sketch out an eyeball. Ooh, super cool. Much different doing this on this kind of paper than actually because you'll use your black as kind of the negative space there doing like every no-no of drawing an eye at this point I actually kind of like the black lines I think I'm gonna leave a few of them give it a little bit of dimension here She got a big eyeball. I think it's a she. Is my head in the way of you? <laughs> I'm gonna do the, have to be black as the, um, the colors right around here. Again, this is also kind of hard to do with the scraping. Maybe an eyeball wasn't the uh, best 
solution here. I feel like my head's in the way. <laughs> but every time I go to look, my head moves, so. Super cool. <laughs> Should have drawn that part first. Let me go back over it this way. I'm not even using any of my little references that I do to draw a face. So, let's get some hair in there. This would be really, really cool for animals, for like color blocking animals in. What? What? Super cool. It's just you can't you can't act like you're sketching because it just doesn't work the same. You got to try to work the negative space there to uh that nose is a little bit small I think for that face, but All right. Wow, you guys. Such a fun box to play with. Totally cool. I'll give it my little signature. <laughs> Available for purchase, $1 million. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. How fun is that, though? So I just wanted to give you guys a little, a little sneak peek of what Arteza's got to offer. They were kind enough to send the box, so I thought that I would play around with it. I'm going to play around with some other stuff. Here's the watercolor is that has now dried. So there you go. There's a little playing around. I'll of course use the Arteza pouring or the their paints in my mixtures, but I wanted to do this just to show you guys what else is in the box. So thank you guys so much for watching. Happy painting. Bye.